This is phaco emulsification of a cataract with pseudo exfoliation. The main incision is being placed and now viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber. We can see the pseudo exfoliation material close to the border of the pupil. Visco has been sprayed over the epithelial surface. Now side ports are made, one on the right side, another on on the left side. Now capsulorexis is to be done. A 26 case pain needle is used to raise a capsular flap like this. I hold this flap with a utrata forceps. I make this flap quite big so that I can hold the flap very easily with utrata forceps. I usually go anticlockwise. Many colleagues go clockwise. It depends on your natural hand movements. So I hold the tag, go anticlockwise. In this case, the pseudo exfoliation material is acting as a rexis marker. The rexis has been done. Now, hydro dissection is to be done. Since there is good red glow in this case, you will see the fluid wave. It has gone from 1 o'clock towards the opposite equator, that is 7 o'clock. Then now, now the nucleus is depressed and it is rotated. Viscoelastic substance is injected again. And now is the time to introduce the tip of the FACO handpiece. Here it is. This is Oatly Cataryx 3 FACO machine. So this is direct chop. I've gone, I buried the tip into the substance of the nucleus and just sliced the nucleus. This nucleus is soft and if I try to hold it with vacuum, it may not be possible. So just support the nuclear mass with the phaco tip and with the chopper just slice the part of the nucleus which is in front of the phaco tip and the nucleus divides into fragments. This is called mechanical chop and I learned this from Dr. Sri Ganesh, founder of Netrodhama Super Specialty Eye Hospital at Bangalore, India. And now the cortical matter is to be removed. Some viscoelastic substance is injected. And now, 23 gauze Simco cannula is being used to remove the cortical matter. This instrument works like a magic wand in my hands. So, more than half of the cortical matter has been removed. Now I go through the side port and I remove the cortex from the sub incisional area. Here I am removing some epinuclear or nuclear bit so that it doesn't get lost somewhere under the iris. 
Now, through the right side port, I am removing the sub incisional cortical matter. And here I can see a small rent. So, now my strategy is to place the lens in such a way that this rent should not extend. So, what I plan to do is I want to place the lens over the iris first in the entry chamber and I want to go easily into the entry chamber so I enlarge the incision a little bit and make it about 3 millimeter. The initial incision was 2.8 millimeter. And now I place the lens over the iris. And now keeping the antechamber formed, I use a Sinsky hook and place this haptic gently in the capsular bag. And now I place the other haptic in the capsular bag and see the rent has not increased in size. So this is a good technique if you want to if PC rent occurs during polishing of the booster capsule we can place an eye well like this so that the rent doesn't increase in size. Now the side ports are hydrated and this is the final lavage of the entry chamber and see a lot of visco sticks to the corneal endothelium and they are coming out. Gently the fluid wave is directed towards the corneal endothelium and all those viscoelastic substance come out and I don't get any rise of intraocular pressure because of viscoelastic substance. The antechamber is formed like this and the case is concluded. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Thank you very much for your attention.